Hi guys, let's start a new exercise, exercise 5c, we are on the chapter quadratic equations. So let's go ahead and look at the new concept, in fact not a real concept, not a new concept, we've done this earlier. So zero product rule, what it basically means is if the product of two numbers is equal to zero, then either the first number is zero or the second number is zero. That's very obvious because you can't get zero as a product unless one of the components is zero. Next, we've done factorizing a quadratic expression by splitting the middle term. Basic quadratic expression is of the form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. So let's look at an example. Let's say x squared plus 5x plus 6 is equal to zero. So here a is equal to 1, b is equal to 5, c is equal to 6. So we find factors of a into c, in this case 1 into 6, the sum of which would be equal to b. Right. So we find factors of 6, factors of 6 could be 1 into 6 or 2 into 3. It could also be negative 1 into negative 6 or negative 2 into negative 3. Now the sum of the factor should be equal to 5. In this case, it's 7. In this case, it's 5. So this is the right one we're looking at. In this case, it's negative 7. In this case, it's negative 5. So we need to find factors of a into c, the sum of which is d. So here we found the factors as 2 and 3. So now I split the middle term, which is 5x as 2x and 3x. That's what I've done. Split 5 as 2 and 3 and the rest everything I write the same. Next, I group it the way I'm underlining, which means x times x plus 2 plus 3 times x plus 2 is equal to 0. x plus 2 is common in these two terms. So we have x plus 2 times x plus 3 is equal to 0. Now, this is the zero product rule, which means first term multiplied with second term is 0, which means x plus 2 is equal to 0 or x plus 3 is equal to 0, which means x is equal to negative 2 or x is equal to negative 3. So these are the two solutions. Quick reminder, if the power of the variable is 2, you have two solutions. Good, let's solve some questions. So the first one that we do is question number 3. So question number 3 says 2x square minus x upon 2 is equal to 0. Let's take the LCM and subtract them first. So that's 2x square minus x upon 2 is equal to 0. Cross multiply 2x square minus x is equal to 0. Between these two terms, x is common. So x times 2x minus 1 is equal to 0, which means first term into second term is 0, which means first term is equal to 0 or second term is equal to 0. This is 2x is equal to 1, x is equal to half and in this case x is equal to 0. So x is equal to 0 or x is equal to half. Now some students may end up uh, from this step, they may write 2x square is equal to x dividing both sides by x, they will get 2x is equal to 1, which means x is equal to half. If you get only one answer, this is where you should think about it. The power is 2, which means you need to have two answers. What's wrong with this method that we've done? We've divided by x, and in this case, x happens to be 0. So if you divide by 0, which is not allowed in mathematics, that's why you will not get your full marks in this uh, method, which I have written here. So here, remember that a power of 2 will have two answers. Good. Let's look at the next question. The next question is question number 5. So 9 by 2x is equal to 5 plus x square. Let's cross multiply. So that's 9x is equal to 2 times 5 plus x square. That's 9x is equal to 10 plus 2x square. Let's put everything on one side. So 2x square minus 9x plus 10 is equal to 0. Now, a is 2, c is 10, which means I need to find factors of 20, the sum of which would be negative 9. Yes, that would be negative 4 multiplied with negative 5. So, we will split negative 9 as negative 4 minus 5. So, 2x square minus 4x minus 5x plus 10 is equal to 0. That's all I've done. I split the middle term, which is negative 9, as negative 4 and negative 5. Now, grouping it the way I've underlined, we have 2x times x minus 2 minus 5 times x minus 2 is equal to 0. 
now x minus 2 is common in both these terms which means this becomes x minus 2 times 2x minus 5 is equal to 0. So first term into second term is 0 which means x minus 2 is equal to 0 or 2x minus 5 is equal to 0. The first one gives us x is equal to 2 and the second one gives us x is equal to 5 by 2. If you want to write, if you want to be sure of full marks, then you should write it in the uh, mixed fraction. So x is equal to 2 or x is equal to 2, 1 by 2. That's our final answer. Good. Let's look at the next question. The next question that we do is question number 8. Question number 8 says x plus 1 upon x is equal to 2 by 5. Find the value of x obviously. Let's take the LCM. So this is x square plus 1 upon x is equal to 2.5. Cross multiplying x square plus 1 is equal to 2.5x. This means x square minus 2.5x plus 1 is equal to 0. Let's multiply both sides by 2 to make uh, it whole number. So we have 2x square minus 5x plus 2 is equal to 0. Now a is 2, c is 2, which means 2 into 2, 4. I need to find factors of 4, the sum of which should be negative 5. That would be negative 4 into negative 1. The sum of this is negative 5. So let's split the middle term as negative 4 and negative 1. So 2x square minus x minus 4x plus 2 is equal to 0. That's correct. 2x square minus x minus 4x plus 2 is equal to 0. Grouping it the way I have underlined. What's common is x. So this is 2x minus 1. What's common is minus 2. So this is 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. Yes, that's negative 4x. That's plus 2. Now 2x minus 1 is common between these two terms. So 2x minus 1 times x minus 2 is equal to 0, which means 2x minus 1 is equal to 0 or x minus 2 is equal to 0. This gives us x is equal to 1 by 2 and the second one gives us x is equal to 2. So either x is equal to half or x is equal to 2. That's our solution for this question. Next one, that's question number 10. Let's open this bracket. So this is 2x square minus 12 is equal to 3x minus 12. Yes, that's correct. 2x square minus 12 is equal to 3x minus 12, which means 2x square minus 3x minus 12 plus 12 is equal to 0. This gets cancelled. This is 2x square minus 3x is equal to 0. What's common between these two terms is x. So x times 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. Again, first term into second term is 0, which means x is equal to 0 or 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. This gives us x is equal to 3 by 2, which is x is equal to 1, 1 by 2. And this was x is equal to 0 in any case. So we have two possible values of x, which will satisfy this given equation. x is equal to 0 or x is equal to 1, 1 by 2. Good, let's look at the next question. The next question that we're doing is question number 13. Now, there are two possible ways of doing it. Open this bracket, open this bracket, figure out an equation or notice x plus 3 is common in both these uh, terms. So, let x plus 3 is equal to a. So, what our equation now becomes is a square minus 4a minus 5 is equal to 0. So, I need to find factors of negative 5 the sum of which would be negative 4. So I can write negative 5 as negative 5 multiplied with positive 1. These are the two factors that I'll divide negative 4 as. So this would be a square minus 5a plus a. So I have broken negative 4 as negative 5 plus 1 minus 5 is equal to 0. Grouping it the way I've underlined a times a minus 5 plus 1 times a minus 5 is equal to 0. This gives us a minus 5 times a plus 1 is equal to 0, which is a minus 5 is equal to 0 or a plus 1 is equal to 0. This gives us a is equal to 5 or a is equal to negative 1. Now, since a is a variable that we've introduced on our own, not given in the question, so let's replace it with x plus 3, which means x plus 3 is equal to 5 or 
x plus 3 is equal to negative 1. So if x plus 3 is 5, then x is equal to 5 minus 3, which is 2. Or x plus 3 is negative 1, which means x is equal to negative 1 minus 3, which means x is equal to negative 4. So the values are x is equal to 2 or x is equal to negative 4. You would get the same answer, obviously, if you had opened the uh, bracket as well. Next question, that's question number 16. So question number 16 says uh, 2x square minus 9x plus 10 is equal to 0. x belongs to n, x belongs to q. We need to solve this. So we need to find factors of 2 into 10, which is 20, the sum of which would be negative 9, which is again 20 can be written as negative 5 into negative 4, the sum of which is negative 9. So 2x square minus 4x minus 5x plus 10 is equal to 0. Grouping it the way I've underlined, 2x times x minus 2 minus 5 times x minus 2 is equal to 0. x minus 2 is common. So x minus 2 times 2x minus 5 is equal to 0, which means x minus 2 is equal to 0 or 2x minus 5 is equal to 0. This gives us x is equal to 2 or x is equal to 5 by 2, which means x is equal to 2, 1 upon 2. So we have two solutions of x, x is equal to 2 or x is equal to 2, 1 by 2. Now there are two conditions given when x belongs to natural number, x will only be equal to 2 because 2 and a half is not a natural number. And when x belongs to q, which is basically a rational number, x could be 2 or x could be 2, 1 by 2. Both options are possible. Good. Let's look at the next question. The next question that we do is question number 18. So question number 18 says 4 upon x plus 2. Okay. Minus 1 upon x plus 3 is equal to 4 upon 2x plus 1. Let's add them. Let's take the LCM on both, uh, LCM on the left hand side. Uh, in fact, subtract, not add. So the LCM would be x plus 2 times x plus 3. The numerator would become 4 times x plus 3 minus 1 times x plus 2, which is equal to 4 upon 2x plus 1. So this becomes 4x plus 12 minus x minus 2. The denominator becomes x squared plus 5x plus 6 and this is 4 upon 2x plus 1. Let's cross multiply now. So 4 times x square plus 5x plus 6 is equal to 2x plus 1 times. This is 4x minus x, that's 3x, 12 minus 2, that's 10. Let's open the bracket. So this is 4x square plus 20x plus 24 is equal to 2x into 3x, that's 6x square plus 2x into 10, that's 20x, 1 into 3x, that's 3x, plus 1 into 10, that's 10. Let's bring everything on one side. So we have 6x square minus 4x square. I'm taking it on the other side, plus this is 23x, and this is 20x. When I bring it to the other side, it becomes negative, so negative 20x. This is 10, so plus 10. And when I take 24 on the other side, it becomes negative 24 is equal to 0. So 6x square minus 4x square, that's 2x square. 23x minus 20x, that's plus 3x. And 10 minus 24, that's negative 14 is equal to 0. So I need to find factors of negative 14 into 2, that's negative 28. So the sum of which should be 3. I can write negative 28 as 7 multiplied with negative 4. The sum of 7 and negative 4 is plus 3. Perfect. So we figured out the factor. So this will be 2x square minus 4x plus 7x minus 14 is equal to 0. Grouping it the way I've underlined, 2x times x minus 2 plus 7 times x minus 2 is equal to 0, which gives us x minus 2 times 2x plus 7 is equal to 0. A into B is 0, which means A is equal to 0. In this case, X minus 2 is equal to 0 or 
2x plus 7 is equal to 0. The first one gives us x is equal to 2 and the second one gives us x is equal to negative 7 upon 2. Let's write it in the mixed fraction form negative 3 1 upon 2. So these are the two answers x is equal to 2 or x is equal to negative 3 1 upon 2. Good. I hope uh, you liking the video and I hope you like understand the concept as well. Let's look at the next question. The next question that we're doing is question number 20. It says 1 plus 1 upon x plus 1, 1 minus 1 upon x minus 1 is equal to 7 upon 8. Let's add this and let's subtract this. Let's see what we get. So the LCM is x plus 1. So this becomes x plus 1 plus 1. This is our first bracket. Here the LCM is x minus 1. So this becomes x minus 1 minus 1 is equal to 7 upon 8. Let's uh, multiply. So the denominator becomes x plus 1 multiplied with x minus 1. The numerator becomes x plus 2 multiplied with x minus 2 is equal to 7 upon 8. This is x plus y into x minus y. That's x square minus y square. So this is x square minus 4. The denominator is x square minus 1 is equal to 7 upon 8. Let's cross multiply and let's see what expression do we get. So 8 multiplied with x square minus 4 is equal to 7 multiplied with x square minus 1. This is 8x square minus 32 is equal to 7x square minus 7, which gives us 8x square minus 7x square is equal to negative 7 plus 32. Yes, that's correct. This gives us x square is equal to negative 7 plus 32. That's 25, which means x is equal to square root of 25, which means x is equal to plus minus 5. So that's the value of x. Simple question, though from the uh, expression, it was looking quite complicated with so many decimals or so many fractions. Let's look at the next question. The next question that we are doing is question number 21. It says find the quadratic equation whose solution set it. Oh, so we've been solving quadratic equations till now. Now they have want us to find the quadratic equation. So let's do the reverse way. X is equal to 3 or X is equal to 5. These are the two possible solutions given. Let's bring it as X minus 3 is equal to 0 or X minus 5 is equal to 0, which means X minus 3 multiplied with x minus 5 will be 0. Uh, that's uh, we've been going like this. This time we're coming from here, which means if a is, is equal to 0 or b is equal to 0, then a into b is also equal to 0. Let's open this, which means x square minus 5x minus 3x plus 15 is equal to 0. So the equation would be x square minus 8x plus 15 is equal to 0. That's the equation for which the solution would be 3 or 5. 